Welcome. In front of me is a Motorola E22i and today I will show you how we can bypass the Google verification on this device. Before I get started, I'm going to quickly mention that you can obviously see the phone I have in front of me is locked and it's telling me to draw the pattern or use the Google account to unlock it in order to actually be able to finish up the setup. Now without verifying either one of those, I would never be able to typically uh, finish up the setup. So in any case, I'm going to now show you how you can bypass this, completely ignoring this verification and then uh, remove it altogether. So number one, you will need to connect to your Wi-Fi network. So progress through the setup if you're at the very beginning till you get to this page then sign into your network. And from there, you want to go back to the first page. And here we will now select vision settings and we're going to then enable talkback and just toggle it on. Now it will get annoying, so you might want to turn down the volume. Talk back on. Welcome to talk back. Welcome to talk back. Page one of five. Talk back is a screen reader intended for situations. So I'm going to turn it down just a little bit and just top somewhere else on the screen so it stops talking. It is a little bit distracting to me, so that's why. Anyway, I don't know what now it's going to start reading. There we go. So. As you will see, you will have this text uh, right here. It's going to be selected with the green outline. And in this outline, you want to draw a mirrored L, so like this. This will bring up a new window, like this one. So here, we're going to select while using the app, so double tap on it. And then you want to single tap, use voice commands. But before you double tap on it, uh, I'll quickly go into what we will need to say. So. When you double tap on it, you will need to follow up by saying open Google Assistant and then open YouTube. Now, there will be intervals in which it just tries to recognize the first command. So you will hear, you'll hear a beep once you double tap on it that it's listening to you. Then once you give a voice command, you'll hear another beep that it recognized the command and then another one that now Google is listening to you. Now, um, that being said, I'm not exactly sure if we're gonna hear all of them on the microphone because I did turn down the volume a little bit, so it might affect it a little uh, in some way. Uh, but you can also visually see it. So I'm gonna point out with basically showing it with the finger each time uh, there is some kind of indication to voice command being recognized or emote actually listening to you. So let's get into it. Open Google Assistant. I'm going to select this option right here. I think it didn't recognize the command correctly, but I'm going to see it. Open YouTube. Disconnected. That's a little bit odd. Now this looks uh, different than what it would normally look like. So I'm not sure if I opened up, if the voice command recognized the correct voice command or what is happening, but I'm gonna continue this as it worked. Uh, this is obviously not how YouTube typically looks like. So I am a little bit iffy about this, but we'll see in a second because the next thing that we need to do is navigate to the account. Now, before we do so, we want to do, uh, we want to pause the uh, voice command. So hold volume up and down. Select turn on, double tap, and then hold volume up and down again. And now we can actually select these options by tapping on them. Anyway, uh, here we're gonna navigate to settings, then about, and Google privacy policy. Okay, so it seems like it worked. Um, now, I'll be honest, this was a little bit different than uh, what I typically see. So uh, specifically when we said open Google Assistant, instead of it opening up Google Assistant as you'd normally have this little shorter pop-up right here, it made me choose an account. Uh, obviously I chose like no account and uh, then go through like some initial setup or something. And once you press on it, it then starts to listen to you, which I did point out with this like uh, four little Google dots right at the bottom, 
when they change into this kind of like moving ones, uh, that means that the Google Assistant is now listening to you. Um, in any case, once we get to the browser, that's basically uh, what we needed to do. So it seems to be going as expected, just looking a little bit differently. In any case, in our browser, we're gonna navigate to hard reset.info slash bypass. So like this, if you need a moment to write this link down yourself, do pause the video. From here, we're gonna scroll down. Uh, just let's give it a moment. There we go, and pops up with this annoying thing. Let's be honest, we all hate it. Um, and here we're gonna select the last option, which is screen lock mini open. And we're gonna choose some kind of screen lock. Now in the guide, which hopefully there is one in the description that can follow up as a written one, uh, it will tell us that we need to select a pattern. Now I'm here to tell you, that's not necessarily the case. You can select anything that you want. Pattern will be the quickest one because you can repeat it uh, if you select a simple one super quickly. So as an example, if I just select something like this, I can keep on repeating this pretty quickly, right? Pin, uh, adds a little bit more precision that is needed to it so it's going to be harder and obviously password will be the most annoying one to repeat it several times now the reason i'm mentioning this uh typically the complexity would not really matter but there is a chance that we might need to repeat this uh 10 times maybe more uh in order to actually set this up so it ticks and it stays and uh that's why choosing something very simple will be more beneficial. Now I am going to be selecting pin because this device right now has a unlocking method of pattern. And this does not really matter for the bypass, but it matters for me to show you that it will completely change and that I won't be using the same, uh, same pattern as an example, because for all you know, I could stick with the pattern and then go back and actually unlock the device with the correct pattern. Uh, so that's why I want to select pin and you can then clearly see what will happen once I choose that It will automatically completely change the verification method So anyway, uh, that being said, I'm gonna be selecting pin and I'm gonna make it very simple one two three four Like I said simplicity is the key here As you can see it pops up now uh, with the app stopped working so you can just tap somewhere go back and then navigate back into it and just continue set up, setting up the same kind of uh, pin or password, whatever you're choosing, pattern. Now, when you set it up and nothing happens, it brings you back to here. So again, I'm gonna continue. Again, same thing, over and over. Nothing, again. There we go. So as you can see, it took me about like what, five tries? Five to seven tries, something like that. I wasn't really counting. Uh, but once you set it up, um, or once it actually ticks in, so it actually gets set, you will get this page. So keep your device unlocked while it's on you. It's whatever, I can select yes, I'm in, and then got it. And what happens now is the screen lock that I have chosen has now replaced the old one. So in my case, uh, the pin has replaced the pattern. And all we need to do now is, let's see, we're gonna get back or reboot the device. I need to check that out. Okay, so we're gonna just spam the back button. There we go. And now we will progress through the setup as we wouldn't normally do. And as you can see, it's telling me now to verify my pin instead of the pattern that was previously here. So again, I'm just gonna put in the one, two, three, four that I have set up. 
Uh, if you chose the same thing, uh, meaning pin, um, then obviously put that in. And if you chose in your pattern, whatever pattern you utilized uh, when, we're, when you were setting it up, just use that now. Accept it. Give it a second for it to, there we go, finish. And that's it. Now the device is basically unlocked. Uh, we can skip the sign in. There we go. And you can see that the little lock icon just vanished from the corner. Now I am com I'm going to be completely honest with this. I am not exactly sure if this is fully unlocked right now. I have never tried to use the device uh, when it's in this particular state. Uh, so I'm going to mention that there is one last thing that I recommend doing to make sure that the device is fully unlocked. And once we finish up the setup, I'm going to show you. So right now just go through the setup in whatever way you want. I recommend um, basically going through it as quick as you can by skipping everything that you can. And you can see we should be done. There we go. So once we have access to our home screen, you want to navigate to your settings right over here. And then scroll all the way down to system, select reset options. Erase all data, factory reset, erase all data, put in your whatever you have selected for your screen lock, and then select erase all data once more. Now to quickly explain why I recommend doing this and what the purpose of this is, even though you have access to your home screen, there is a chance that the device is still kind of locked. It might still retain some of the old verification methods. So for instance, it might retain some kind of Google account uh, deep in the system. Obviously you don't want that. So by performing a factory reset through settings like I am instructing you to do right now, this will force the device to factory reset, obviously. But on top of that, when doing it through settings, it also forces the device to get rid of all the protection that was set on this device. That will include the screen locks, either pin, pattern, passwords, and the Google accounts that could still be on here. Now, after pressing this button, uh, the bypass will be basically finished. It goes through a factory reset, which is just fully automatic process. And once it's completed, you'll be presented with the setup screen for this device, at which point you can set up this phone in whatever way you want. It will be fully unlocked. So you can add your Google account if you want to or skip it. You won't need to do any of the bypassing that we have done uh, throughout the video, because like I mentioned, the device will be fully unlocked. So there we go. So with that being said, just press on that button as a, a last step, as a basically like a repercussion, just to be absolutely certain that the device is unlocked. So with that being said, hopefully you found this video helpful. And if you did, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.